So what is going on guys, my name is Z4 and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. Now, as I said in my previous videos with my entry video and with my um, recent CSGO videos with my Smic series as well as my uh, predictions and um, what we learned from ESL1, I wanted to do a gameplay series because ultimately I do, play, I do like to play other games in CS and I wanted a series that we could do and go through and a game that um, I, I don't know, I, I would enjoy playing and the one that I came up with was Prison Architect. Now, I haven't played this game in absolutely forever, and um, I thought it'd be good to just jump into it. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to have some stipulations, not stipulations, but like conditions, to that we can consider this series a success. Um, that may be how many prisoners we can have, amount of money we make, or um, just overall something along those lines, and we'll come up and um, I'll come up with them in the few in um, the next couple episodes however if you do have any um feel free to comment down below and we can adopt i think we'll adopt three three uh conditions that we have to meet in order to then complete the series and then we'll move on to a different game but yeah this is will be the game this 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 series will come out every monday and then um i have a video coming out wednesday and then obviously we have the smoke series coming out on fridays and this will make up my upload schedule so without further ado let's just jump into the gameplay so the first thing we got to do is we'll read through uh, the ceo's letter so it says congratulations on completing your basic induction right now a fully, fully qualified prison architect soon you'll be designing building and running your own prison starting from nothing but an empty plot of land and a few stacks of bricks before getting started i thought i might share some important lessons with you so number one is every prison needs a warden he should be one of your first hires build him a nice office and they'll open up a whole range of advanced facilities via the bureaucracy system Number two is individual jail cells are expensive, especially early on when funds are very tight. Save money by starting with a single large holding cell, which can be shared between many prisoners at once. And number three, get your kitchen and canteen up and running before the first prisoner show up. And be sure to hire some cooks. Nothing irritates a prisoner more than an empty stomach. And finally, number four is building a prison is an expensive undertaking. You need to become a master of raising large volumes of money through grants and contracts. You can access these grants through the report screen. That's about everything. Good luck. So we'll close, th close that, um, we have done it, we can now delete that, and then we need to accept our first grant, and then we've got prison intake in, uh, um, just under a day's time. So I think in this episode we will cover the first day, and then the next episode we will have the first prisoners. Um, so we have our delivery and our garbage thing here, and I'm thinking that um, we're just going to keep it, try and keep it extremely small. So if we have, let's say, fences coming up to here, um, we will have a entry so we can get to our deliveries um, and let's just say for the minute we build we build it off like this so on the left hand side I think we should have um, our main our holdings out as well as um, the canteen so if we say this is the entrance we our deliveries we'll have our entry to our deliveries and so on and so forth but um, let's make it mm, so if we make it, we'll leave one. If we make it, let's make it. Um, oh, actually, no, I want to go 14. If we go, if we make it 12 by 12, yeah, that seems a good size. This can be our holding cell, and then um, one, two, three, four. Let's go four across, and we'll make the uh, canteen 12 by 12 as well. So um, holding cell. Um, and uh, kitchen or canteen and then um, from that we'll do a 6 by 12 uh, room and this will be blocked off and we'll put a door there so that um, our staff can then go and uh, grab the deliveries which I think will we'll extend our deliveries up to here and that means that we can access that and so on and so forth so Opposite it, we need to obviously have our offices. So if we have all our management one side, and um, we'll put the utilities here as well. So um, we will have it. Let's have it the same length. Um, if we have it 12 by 12, and then we will have um some buildings off the back of it. For the minute, we will just um patch that up, build a fence there, and we'll have um entry there and then um we need a yard so if we just say this will be our yard so if we make it 12 uh yeah let's do 12 by 14 
and that can be our yard and we'll have it um, opposite. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do just for the sake of this? We'll make this our whole canteen and the kitchen door can be there and um, they can go in and out. So, perfect, we are rolling. Now, actually, the other building we should prioritize is a utilities room. So, what we'll do is actually, um, what's this? This is six. Perfect. So, we'll make this six by eight, which I think is pretty good. And then, there we go. We can build this, and this will be our utility room. So, I think we are good to go. So, let's just start. Um, we're going to start with the basics. Um, so, we're going to actually build a fence around here this will be a fence we're going to leave that open so we can build a door this will all be fences as well as this um that will be a doorway that we will then cut that's no we don't need to fence that off however we do we do need the fence we'll build a fence there just so that we actually have um room um and then as well as that we will actually do the first bits of our foundation so if we make this a foundation um grab a door which i can't remember where the doors are kept there in objects um this will be a jail door because obviously it is a cell we don't want a big one we run a budget we'll get a small one and um yeah oh and actually uh what we do need to also do is make this fence because they're not allowed in there um and we'll make that we're just going to block off everywhere they, they could escape um so yeah right cool perfect we can now fast forward we're just going to fast forward to three and let our builders do um that work um what we are also going to quickly do is um not staff we want to do uh zones what how do we get zones um rooms that's it okay so have we got Deliveries, that's it. We want to extend our deliveries to this. And then, where's our garbage? Garbage is there, and we want to extend our garbage to this. Um, and then we're going to have a staff door here. Actually, wait, I want to cancel that. We're going to have it here and a staff door here. Perfect. Right, cool. So that one's operational. Let's actually start building the rest of them. So we're going to have a foundation here which is going to be a staff door that can be put nicely there. Um, whilst they're also working on that one, we are going to get them to build this one. Um, we do, uh, I wish we could copy it. We are gonna add that there, and then that perfect, that makes, um, that makes all the rooms we need to have pretty much ready. Um, and then we are going to build the foundation there, as well as that, we're gonna add one there. Um, damn it. Okay. Ooh, damn it. How? Okay, uh, that needs a door to become it. So this is just, we'll just put a regular door on this. Um, and then with the planning, what we'll do is we'll just, uh, we'll just add that there and there we go so we are actually doing pretty well so far we've got 14 hours until this all needs to be done so we're just going to whack that there and then we're going to build that there as well um 9k not looking great but um we'll have to take it at this point <laughs> so as far as i can tell there is nowhere that we need to actually block off um what we are going to do is just add another gel door there um and oh, I didn't need to do that, did I? Damn it. So we're going to actually clear under area. Add. So that was meant to be the yard, but we just made another building, which just kind of sucks. Um, so, hmm. Perfect. Right, cool. So we're actually, we've now actually managed to get everything up and running. So we're just going to add a concrete wall there, a staff door to go here. Um, and then in this room, we are now going to, so we're, right, cool. Um, so now we get into the interesting stuff where we can actually build what we need to build. So we're going to add a brick wall here, and then in turn, we are also um, going to demolish that wall, which we can then um, make into a um, another door, which we can um, lead into our kitchen. Um, actually, no, we're not. We're going to cancel that. Um, 
Marshalls and Council Oak. Um, we are just not going to. Where's my walls? Uh, we are not going to. We're just going to build a concrete wall and we'll leave that one open. Um, right, we're going to. So now we're going to make. So now we are able to pretty much start assigning these rooms. So the first one we're going to do is our holding cell. Um, this one is not enclosed and needs to be surrounded by walls and toilet a minimum 5x5 five five size. That's perfect. We are going to... Um, why is this not shut? Can we... Okay, right. Um, so it's minimum 5x5, five five, it's enclosed. We just need to add toilets and benches which is not bad at all. So we are just going to add, um, first of all, we're gonna add a couple of beds. We're just gonna shove uh, five in there. Um, we are then going to have, oh, that's not the button I meant to hit. We're gonna have uh, three toilets and then we will add um, two benches along the side. So that works out pretty nicely. Um, and then we need them, these guys to build this room ASAP. Um, we're going to add a staff door in there as these deliveries start rolling in, which is cool. Right, now we can also quickly pause the game to assign our other room, which we are going to assign a office wherever it is. It is there. This is going to be an office. It's a, it needs to be 4 by 4 down. One, two, three. Uh, what's this? Okay. Um, Right, no problem. All we have to do is uh, demolish this wall, um, and then I think if we make it, uh, what's this? This is five. Yeah, that'll be fit. So we're just going to extend the office space a little more. Um, rooms, our office. If we make it as four by four, now. Nah should fit pretty nicely um we're also going to dismantle the door while we're at it um we can speed this up and get rid of that door perfect right uh so we need to add a concrete wall and then we need to add a staff door oh no we need to add a staff door um as well as that we do need to start adding what we need for our office so um yeah again hit the wrong button we will add that a chair and a filing cabinet and uh, we are ready to roll. Um, we also do need to quickly make sure our utilities is now actually attached to where we need it to be. Um, the electricity is working. Okay, so now let's, uh, we've got three hours till they arrive. Um, we got this. So we need to add a canteen. So this is gonna be our canteen. Um, we do actually, We need to add a brick wall. What does the canteen need? So it needs, uh, right, it needs a serving table to start off with, so that's fair, easy enough. Um, then we need a table, so if we have a table there, um, bench, bench, we'll leave a gap. Perfect, there we go. We can have, um, uh, actually, wait, so. Uh, and we'll get rid of this one. Okay, now this works better. Uh, we'll leave a gap one, two, and there we go. Perfect. We have now got what we need. Um, and then we can also now we also can assign a kitchen. We will make this our kitchen. Um, they need a cooker, a fridge. Um, so we'll put the cooker there. The fridge can be in the corner, and then the sink can be against the wall like that. Um, and then we'll also add a bin in to clean up all the oh, all the rubbish as well as that we'll add a bin into there. Um, we still need to deal with this, but we are getting there. Um, we do need to, I think, utilities wise, uh, our pipe will run up here. Um, actually, we make it straight, and I think the electric needs to be connected to that. So I think we're not actually doing too bad. Um, there are no access pros. There are no there are no canteens accessible by this prison. Hmm? What does it mean? It's not. Oh, they need access. Does that mean they need access to 
the canteen. Okay, right. We. Okay, so we can actually not. If we add a barbed wire fence here, um, and then bulldoze that wall, bulldoze that wall, and that wall. Does that work then? Oh, does that? We need um. Can we add a jail door there as soon as possible, please? Okay, so we've actually now, so now we can actually hire some staff. So the first one we're gonna hire is a warden, um, and then I want at least two guards on duty. As well as that, we'll add uh, two cooks, and there we go. I think we have got pretty much what we need covered, um, ready and waiting to go. We just need to add the final touches of what we need to add. The jail door there, and enclosed around by walls. Oh, did we just add a jail door there? Okay, oh, okay, that's not good. If we just accidentally under the power supply, that kind of sucks. Um, the pr okay, so guys, we have now got our first batch of prisoners. They are on the road. Um, with that being said, I'm going to call this the end of episode one. I hope you have enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit chaotic, but hopefully um, next episode, we're, what I'm going to start doing is having three aims to go with, and then obviously um, we'll have our three stipulations. Um, and yeah, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please stay tuned for more episodes of this series as well as my other series with the smokes and my um, other content. Hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time.